winter progress. Hi, I know I look crazy and the reason I look so crazy is because I'm in the middle of a coconut oil treatment. But those of you who follow my Facebook page, which is Naturally High, will know that I have been struggling recently with winter hair care and winter weather and that it's been damaging my hair. But I am on the verge of a breakthrough and right now I'm in the middle of a coconut oil treatment. I'm going through my hair and I'm noticing I haven't got any breakage at all. And normally when I go through my hair these days, I'm noticing a lot of breakage. So I think that the difference is due to several things. First of all, I had a protective style in last week. It looks something like this. Every other day, because the twists were a bit bigger, I was able to just take them out and just detangle the ends a bit and put the twists back in. So that's what I was doing. I moisturised my hair a lot and I was able to keep my hair very detangled. This weekend I took my hair out and I was able to wear a twist out, which was great. And right now I'm doing a coconut oil treatment so that I can shampoo it tomorrow because I haven't shampooed in a long time. And I think that the reason I'm not getting as much breakage is because I've been detangling my hair a lot and because I was wearing my hair in bigger twists, which meant that I was able to take the twists out and comb my hair without any, without problems because when they're smaller you're more reluctant to take them out and then redo them but when they're big then you can take them out, re-moisturise without a problem. And also I realised that even though I wore my hair out on the weekend, I didn't suffer any breakage from that, whereas usually whenever I wear my hair out and I have to comb it out afterwards, I get a lot of breakage. And I think that this time the reason is that perhaps because I haven't had it loose, loose and wet especially, my hair isn't very knotty right now. Additionally, whenever I put my hair in a bun in the past, I would always encounter single strand knots at the end. However, uh, recently I've been doing what I call a 2-2 plait bun, which um, Trinis will know what a 2-2 plait is. It's basically a plait that looks a bit like poo. <laughs> I guess one of these would be considered a 2-2 twist. So what I'll do is I'll gather all of my hair, put it in a puff, and then put my hair into a big wall. Because, I, because my hair is so thick, I have to put it into two big plaits, and then I tuck those plaits under which means I can actually spray those ends of water and the ends won't crawl around each other because they are in a plait. So they just take the form of the plait. So when I take the plait out, my hair is not knotty. Whereas if I were to do it with my hair loose, I would get serious breakage, knotting, terrible results. So my advice to you is keep your hair detangled, detangle as often as possible, moisturise your ends but plait or twist your ends so that your ends are stretched. Um, another thing that I'll do, which I forgot to mention earlier on, was that I will put my hair in a puff, tuck the ends under and put a wrap over my head and then a hat. That's whenever I'm outside, so when it's windy and it's cold, my hair doesn't get exposed to the cold and the wind. Then, when I get to where I want to go, if I don't want to wear a hat inside or a wrap, I can just go to the toilet, take that off, let my hair down, and then before I go, I just put the hat back on and the wrap. Generally speaking, to walk to university, I'll wear my hair in a wrap and I'll take the wrap off when I get there. Oh, and this is what my wraps have been looking like. By the way, I've got quite a few pictures, so you can have a look at some of my styles. Some of these styles did actually stay on during the entire day, but I'm not so sure I like them, so I may not be wearing them as frequently now. 